we're gonna go ambush the brand new Aeon trailer and show you some exciting new things inside. Let's go. See who we can grab. I see James. I see the one and only James Veldy right in front of me. He's talking to some folks. Let's see who we can find here. Look at all these people. Who wants to talk about Aeon? Shane! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How are you, buddy? Here, this, go, this goes in your hand. And then we're gonna talk about the new Aeon trailer. Yeah, so. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks so for brand new? On. Yeah, brand new. It's just out of the shop into last year, early this year. I see it. So we got it rewrapped the outside, got it uh, gutted and redesigned inside and brought some on new equipment. But yeah, we travel across the nation and uh, Glad to be in the Baltimore area, DC That's right. area. Now let's do a little tour. So I see you still have the TVs. Are yes. these yes, sir. Yeah, similar to what you have before, showing some great videos of the yes. factory, the yep. new controls, equipment wise. Now, what's this weird symbol I see here? What's this going on weird with this? symbol, that is an A. So ah. that is our, our uh, marketing, um, like branding for our alpha class. I hear you've got class. this genius marketing guy <laughs> yeah. named Jeremy. Yeah. JC, right? <laughs> yes, JC. Jeremy Cavanis. Yeah. So, uh, so the marketing he, team, they uh, is marketing our alpha class equipments, which is classifying our heat pumps, air source right. heat pumps at that. Very so, popular today. So yeah, so this A is symbolizing an air source heat pump unit. So that's what uh, is behind you right now, Tony. Well, heat pumps might be good for the South. But what about up north where it gets cold oh, in the winter? I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> so Aeon's been very big on decarbonization. So right. we have different tiers now. We have our Eco, Pro, and Extreme. So Whoa. depending on what ranges you're in, it can withstand different climates. So the Extreme one can operate down minus 20 ambient. Wow. Yeah, so we- Now how we, much heating capacity do you get out of that at minus 20? So at five degrees, you can have 100% heating capacity. All the way down to five degrees. Yes, sir. And yeah. then if you're in a climate that gets that cold, you can have a supplemental gas or electric Correct. heat for backup, right? Yeah, Which so is always, you want that anyway. Correct. Right. Yeah, this so. one actually has gas heat, so that's the, the dual fuel option. Yeah. So that's what's in this so, game, mind you. I think that's an underrated option. A lot of folks don't have a heat pump that has gas heat capability. Simultaneous so that's heat a great, too. Simultaneous too, yeah. so you can do it during defrost mode or you know, just to give you a little boost when you need more, yes, more supplemental heat. And what I like about that is it doesn't detract from your electrical load or it doesn't cause this massive electrical load. So if you have you know, the electric heater and the compressors all operating at the same time, your MOCP and your MCA is real high, but you don't have that with the gas heat product. Correct, correct, mm. yes. So great for retrofits and new construction. Yes sir, yeah. Okay. What else do we want to look at here? So we've got... One, um, yeah, it's an injury recovery wheel. So this is our, actually our, our pro tier. So this has a variable speed compressor. This one actually has a compressor sound blanket on it. That's why it's covered up. Right here? Yes, sir. And I love... Let's start with the ba like the basic Aon kind of brought this to the industry, which is the, the double wall foam panel. Yep. And if you've never felt one of these before, it's almost like a... I don't want to slam the door too much, but you can kind of get an idea how yes, very robust. solid it is. And then the color code and wiring diagrams, which are nice. Yeah, we have our bulb seal here, but that's um, kind of covering up our thermal brake. But there's a thermal brake behind this bulb seal. You can see it on that demo on this that's back awesome. over there, but R value of 16. So great cabinet construction. And that's through all of our rooftop equipment. Right, and then you've got this particular unit has the coil coating for Seacoast or any type of corrosive environments. Correct. Uh, nice. Standard drain pans. Stainless steel drain pans. Metal gears, which are nice. Yes. Oh, are those aluminum? Dr yes, Gal Al aluminum, aluminum uh, damper gears. blades, yes. Damper blades and gears. And your dampers are very special. They're they're very high quality. They're designed yes. to be that way. Correct. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the control cabinet here. So we just did a presentation on A2Ls. Oh, nice. So this is the refrigeration, the refrigerant detector. Yep. So at, I think it's 25% of the lower flammability limit, this will engage. And now where's the refrigeration controller? Or is so it that's built those into yellow the, boards right here. These are the yellow, these are the controllers for yeah. the refrigeration mitigation Correct. procedure? Correct, Okay. 
Yeah, so, so this is detecting if there was a leak in the cabinet. Yeah, there's a leak, one in the cabinet, and there's one in the airstream, and there's one in the gas heat section on this back side. So Got it. There are different locations throughout the cabinet as needed to detect right. it. So what would happen if this detects a leak? So it would shut off the refrigeration cycle and it kind of do a uh, emergency sequence. Right. So it's going to turn the fan fans on to miti or mitigate that, uh, that uh, dilute the uh, refrigerant. Does it do anything with the damper? It, oh, it, I can't remember the exact sequence, okay, yeah, but no it'll, problem. it'll open up um, the necessary components yeah. to, to make sure that everything's properly you know, yeah, we're all security. learning. Me yes. too. Yeah. I've read five different ways that it happens. So yeah. I think there's something with the damper, the compressor cycle, it turns off. If the heater was on, it maybe would turn that off. I'm not really sure. Um, and this particular unit, okay, so that's the RDS, Refrigerant so, Detection System. Uh, then you have the drives here, and I think what, some of these are maybe for the fans or some. Is yeah, this a VFD compressor? So there's compressor labels or? on all of our components. There you go. Um, so SF, VFD, Supply Fan VFD, EF, Exhaust Fan VFD, and this one's your. Uh, your drive for your variable speed compressor. Nice. So all variable speed, which is probably needed for the low ambient Correct. heating, I'm sure. Yeah, this is the, the pro class, so operate down to zero degrees. And then you've got the A2L sticker Correct. here. This is the pro down to zero degrees. All right, let's work our way around here. We got Mr. Douglas Sanders on the camera. Let's see if we could open this. So gas heat section. Now there's the other RDS. Or there's the other refrigerant sensor, excuse me. Now, Ann has been making their own heaters for a long time. Yeah, a yeah, long time. Yeah. Stainless steel, and they have that dimple design, which creates the turbulent flow right. and increases the efficiency. And you have a great warranty on them. I can't remember what it was, but it's Tw like. 25 year non prorated for stainless steel, right. 15 year non prorated for aluminum. So. That's, a, that's a deal. Yeah. Non prorated is the key there. So, um, okay, so we got the gas section. I think over here, we're just going to be able to see the condenser coil. Yeah, the condenser coil, um, your access to your supply fans on this back side. Yep, um, if you needed to get into that. Yep. And then the condenser fan motors are up here with the fans. And then we got our filter section here. And this box is the powered exhaust box. Is correct. that correct? Is that what's happening yeah, power here? Power exhaust, and there's an energy recovery wheel back here. I wish. Um, we'd have a plexiglass up here so you can see down in it, but there's a energy recovery wheel. On oh, there is. Side. That's the exhaust fan back there. Okay. So the exhaust fan is a is a plenum fan, uh, backward curved plenum fan, but it is it is belt driven because it fits in here nicely that yes. way. Yes. <laughs> and then the wheel sections over here with the damper. Cool. All right. So that's the alpha. What was the nomenclature again? Alpha class. This is the, the pro version. The pro version. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Let's see. What else do we got in here? So um, why don't we look at, because we've done a ton of videos. Well, this is a great cutaway of the foam panel. Why don't we show people this? So two inch. Yeah, two inch foam injected. So we're not using any type of boards inside of there. So it's spraying evenly throughout that cavity and getting all those corners I love um, throughout um, our value of 16. And then on our larger units, we had to do uh, this foam insulation as well on the, on the bases. So got it. standard. Very solid construction and, you know, very high efficiency in terms of our value. Correct. Thermal efficiency. Okay. And then let's look at this. So I haven't seen this yet. We got a new guy. <laughs> hey, Nate, I'm Tony. Tony, good nice to meet you. Meet you. Yeah. We're kind of just, hey, thank you, Shane. You're welcome. Did a great welcome. job. Yeah, all right. I think Shane's handing us over to you. Is that okay. all right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so you want to show us what's going on what's here? What's going on on this side? The last trailer, I think you had this in there, but it was late in the game. Oh, yeah. But now we have it in here now. So, yeah, so if you look here, this is our, our BCCX. This is the main unit controller. Right. Handles out all the uh, inputs and outputs, uh, takes the uh, sensor readings, and then commands I always them. think of this as the brains of the unit. Absolutely. It's kind of yep. where it all starts. And That's where it all starts. When I started with Aon, I saw these controllers and I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy intimidating. But when you break it down, like each of them have their specific function, it's actually 
easier than having everything in one controller right. for me, for my mind. Right. So we've got the brains of the operation right here, the yep. v VCCX. VCCX, yes, and this is the IP, so it has BACnet um, IP as well as the MSTP, which is um, all built in. Too. All built in. It used to be separate board for the back now. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Um, nice. And so what else is built in is every um, application type. So we've got MUA, uh, DOAS, VAV, space control, return error control, all of those options built into one control. Very nice. So yeah, that's yeah. The, the big thing there. And what do we call this now? This is the TSX. So this was actually a, um, a test interface. Um, that was built for the VCCX, but now it's a, a look towards our new controls line, which is Stratus. Oh, um, okay. So this kind of gives a taste of some of the things that you will uh, see with the new line of controls. Um, a con a touchscreen like this will be actually in the unit. Uh, much smaller, it'll be a five and a half inch. Um, uh, but yeah, then that will actually carry out all of the, uh, that'll be like the new VCCX, and then it just sends out IO to IO boards. I love it. So that's okay. what's coming in the future. So um, you were going to take me around here, and I interrupted you. There were oh, some yeah. more boards down here. So, so the, the VCCX, boards. and then we have the other boards here, yep, which are more. So this more is also a VCCX, um, and then we have our modules that are connected via eBus. Right. Those are how those communicate. So this guy tells... Um, commands the mode, right? And then these guys will carry out the individual sequences. Right. Whatever needs to happen. So like there are some D, he's taking care of the compressors, um, staging those based on uh, the supply air tank, so. Right, so right here we have the, let's see, where am I reading it? MHGRV modulating hot gas reheat valve yep, controller. Absolutely. So the, so Aon's been doing modulating hot gas reheat forever right. and kind of pioneered it in my opinion in the industry and this controller is responsible for looking at the supply temperature and modulating the valves to achieve that temperature. That's exactly right. And yeah. that supply temperature is fed to it by some calculations depending on if we have a fixed supplier temperature or we're resetting it based on space temperature, things like that. How Correct. did I do? Correct. I'm pretty close. 100% <laughs> spot on. Yeah, that was great. And then this one is a preheater which yep. is pretty self-explanatory. Exactly. And then this one is the mod gas controller, yep. which is very popular and is in, in, I think every unit that has gas heat, is that correct? Yes. Pretty much. Yep. So that's the, that controls the gas heat, the mod gas valve. Um, it works in the same way as this one does, is it's looking at a temperature and it's just modulating the valve off that temperature, right? Exactly. There's a, a target uh, supplier set point, right? Yeah. And uh, we modulate to achieve that set point. Right. So. And we've yeah. got various sensors here. I love this thing here. How do I get one of these in my office? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Who do I got to talk to? Jeremy, are you the one to talk to? Jeremy, you watching? Yeah. Is he the guy? I don't know. So we actually built this in our uh, Kansas City. Thanks. Like, don't get me in the middle of this. <laughs> we, yeah, we actually, <laughs> right. we actually built this in our Kansas City. Um, he told me off camera I could get one. I'm just saying. Sorry about that. I keep no, interrupting you. What's that weird, Nate? What's that? Where'd you build that thing? We built it in Kansas City, which is our controls uh, manufacturing plant. Right, so, right. Um, actually, our team was the one who put it all together, mounted the controls, and uh, got it on here. So, They're boundless over boundless. there in Kansas yep, that's, City. That's right. They are boundless. I actually, we've got a boundless sign that sits right outside my office. So I, I just there you go. look out the door and see, oh, boundless. Okay, cool. Excellent. Don't forget. Thank yeah. you, Nate. We'll let you go, Absolutely. man. Thank you very yeah. much. Appreciate it. Good you. to meet you. Thanks.